all right so i'm back with a makeup tutorial not even a makeup tutorial like a makeup chit chat um yes these are faux locks i did them myself so today's video is on um this palette that everybody's been talking about and it is the soft glam palette it is my first time using it in this video so i literally did a very simple gold eye look which you'll get into once we run that video but i wanted to give a disclaimer because um as i was filming not only did the sun go away it started raining and I had to pull my background it was a lot going on so I hope you guys still enjoy this video I said it was not going to stop me I was still going to make it and finish it out pause hold the phone um, don't forget to like comment and subscribe por favor yes your girl is bilingual <laughs> I'll just play y'all but seriously, so make sure you guys like and comment this video, subscribe to our channel, hit that bell thing everybody be talking about so you see when we post. But um, yeah, that is it. So y'all go on and just slide, like watch the video, just go. All right, y'all, let's get it started. All right, so as you've seen in my intro, we are doing this soft glam look. So I filled in my brows, as you can see, Finally got these babies waxed, honey, because you know when you let them things grow out, they be wolfing. So I've been wolfing for like six months, maybe a little more, because I just wanted my brows to look bomb once I got them waxed. So I got them waxed, and they look all nice and pretty, and they're filled in. Anywho, this is when I'm going to prime my face, the complexion primer. Y'all, my chest hurts. I don't know why. <sighs> my chest hurts. Okay. Anywho. <laughs> Mommy's having her some me time making this video. Slaying my face. So I did not clean up underneath my brows. I'm going to use the LA Girl Pro, the color Fawn, which of course is super light. Not super light, but light enough for me to be like oh you going extra today i don't know what look i'm going for. oh oh i went a little heavy oh well, i said i was going extra so that's what's happening like for sure oh my goodness All right. today honey i am going extra what do i look like <coughs> I don't know what I look like right now. But we're cleaning up underneath my brows. That's what we're doing. Looking like this. So first things first, what I normally do is I'll take a concealer brush and I'll start. Let me, let me get a mirror so I'll make sure I don't be looking all crazy messing myself up. So. Yeah, she's ready to go. She say no, she don't want your love. Trying to put the pieces to a heart that you broke. And the crying, the cheating, the lying. Man, she don't want your love anymore. And I'm thinking I should give it a go. I heard you're looking for somebody to know. Yeah, so All right, so moving on from that catastrophe, I am blending in the remaining of my concealer on my eyelid. Go set my eyes with the air spun. So anywho, I'm gonna set that. Oh my goodness, the lighting is not. Powder. I had to take off my background because it started raining and the sun completely went away. So yeah, and you probably hear the rain in the background. But I ain't gonna let that stop me from doing this video. Like I said, today is my day off. And we gonna get this in and popping. So anywho, I'm setting that, and while I'm doing that, I'm gonna set my face. That's what I always do, because I have combo to oily skin. So for me, in doing that, it really, really helps. So next thing I'm gonna do is do my eyes. We're right, gonna move on to the eyes. And I'm going to probably dedicate an all-over bronze look. 
and I'm probably going to use these browns to kind of blend out with the rustic. Not so much this one because it's a little too dark for right now. And sometimes I be thinking, oh, I'm brown skin, so I'm going to use brown because brown will be my best friend. No, sometimes brown isn't my best friend because it can get a little dark real fast. So you know, Anastasia's mirrors and her palettes are really good, honestly. So that $42 is going to work because I'm going to use the whole palette. Brush, mirror, all of it. So I am going to use the Rustic. No, Sienna. I'm going to go with Sienna. And I'm using my Morphe brush, M441. Ooh. Ooh. And I'm just going to kind of put this all over at first because, again, we are going to blend. I heard you're looking for somebody to love. So if you're looking for somebody to love, I can give it a go. Like that subculture pal that everybody was talking about that's like, oh, it's too ugly. Oh, it's this. Oh, it's that. That junk was perfectly fine. If you use Anastasia's product, if you used her Modern Renaissance, her powders are pigmented. So you have to go in lightly. And of course, there are going to be some that kind of come defective. We know that. You know, not everything's going to come out perfect. You can't make about 5 million palettes and every single one of them is going to be perfect. No, you're going to have some defective ones. So it is what it is. But I love her products. How nicely that blended out, y'all. See, and this is why I f with her stuff. Like, look at that. I wanna make sure you blend in for the gold, honey. I have learned that's what a good eye look comes down to is making sure you blend everything out. So now I'm gonna go in with a smaller tapered brush to get into my crease, and I'm gonna go into that rustic. So, see, I'm gonna go right into my crease where I close my eyes and it folds right into there. She don't want your love. Trying to put the pieces to a heart that you broke. And the crying, the cheating, the lying. Man, she don't want to love anymore. And I'm thinking I should give it a did I close that? So then now, for that gold, y'all. Look at that. Look at that pop. Y'all gonna see the rest once I finish. Do you see the eyes? <laughs> so I'm just gonna go ahead and start with my foundation. It is the Superstay 24 hour. And um, again, like I said, y'all see me put this on before. I do like to spray my brushes though with like either a setting spray or a mist. So today I'm using the Juice Beauty Hydrating Mist. I always Okay, God bless me. Alright, so now that's done, I done blended out my foundation. I'm just patting it in with a sponge just so it gets more of an airbrushed look and not so much of a I just slapped out my foundation. My concealer. <laughs> and that's the Avery Wind Eraser Dark Circles treatment in the color teen. A little bit of that right underneath. And we're gonna come back to doing the bottom lash of my eyes, honestly, so don't worry. And I'm not gonna do a wing today because I just don't feel like it. So I start from the bottom and I work my way into the middle of my face. And yes, my Beauty Blender is a little damp. I use that same hydrating mist from Juice Beauty that I use for my foundation brush. And then as that's setting and sitting there, to use the powder version of the contour palette of Black Radiance. And I think my color is probably medium to dark, it is. And I like to mix these two together sometimes because I feel like that dark be a little See, a little too dark. So we're gonna make it work. See how I just went? The illusion of makeup. Go ahead and blend this out. 
Ooh, ooh. So next, I am going to obviously set that really quick. And again, when I set my makeup, I pound it into my skin. And yes. So it looks a little ashy now, but we're going to make it work. And again, For video purposes, I told y'all I'm being extra. We gonna cut that contour. Mm -hmm. So next, with that same brush, I will contour my nose. And you can legit see like, the powder residue like you can see the powder residue there like it already honed into it now that's finished i'm gonna go in with my matte studio fix powder and i'm going to and this is nw45 and i'm going to brush away all of that ashy toners which you'll see being brushed away because the lighting on here is terrible so you'll see the white flash go away in like 2.5 seconds once I finish. I am going to take the same brushes, preferably this one for underneath my eye. And actually I'm gonna go back with the Sienna because it was a little warmer. So I'm gonna go back with the Sienna. I go back in with that bronze and another fluffy brush and add some gold right underneath my eyes. And then I'm going to go in with bang. No pun intended. The Benefit Bagel Bane Mascara. Really like this mascara. You will see the difference as soon as I put this on. And I don't wear lashes, you guys, because I can't put them on to save my life. So, I stick with my good old mascara and call it a day. Look at that. So, if you want a good mascara, get you this. This mascara is everything. And then, oh, how can I forget? Let me go in with my Milani Baked Bronzer. Bronze, the face bronze. Last but not least, who can forget a highlight? And I'm gonna go with the Amber Z. Yes, I bought it. I don't know why, but I did. I bought it. I guess because of the hype. Oh, this is my first time using this, and I think I just went a little too ham. So when that happens, you uh, make it work, and that's exactly what I'm doing. Probably gonna have to go back with my powder brush. Whoa, y'all just, I just blinded myself. <laughs> Let's see if it passes my nose test. Oop, boop, it does. It gives a nice, Cute finish to my nose. Ooh, cuters. Let's, oh, let me add a little lip. I'm gonna wear the MAC Lip Glass in Viva Glam Taraji because you gotta support all black girls that get a collab with any top brand. So, I made sure to buy Taraji Lip Gloss when I seen it. I was like, I gotta have it. So, this is that, and if I was really going anywhere, I would spray my face with the all-nighter, but I'm not going anywhere, so I will leave my face just like this. I hope you guys enjoyed. I spoke a little bit about what was going on in my video. Um, I will put everything that I used in the description box below, so if you're interested in using them, you know what to get. Thanks for watching, and I will see you guys on the next video. Deuces, much love, peace, and happiness. Ow!